Oh, there goes the body. Well, that was a record. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, 95 feet high at 90 miles per hour. What's up, it's Eric. I've got the Arma Typhon V4. I'm gonna go for another um, high jump record, see if I can break a PB on that. Uh, the last video, I got 82 feet high with it uh, by Sky GPS. So we're gonna see what we can do this time. I made a couple changes to the buggy, changed up the gearing and uh, a little bit on the suspension. See if we can get a little bit more lift. I'm using my three foot quarter pipe ramp um, and I've got my truck back right up next to it. Cause guys, I'm gonna stand in the bed of the truck. Cause when you got a car coming in, at uh you know near 90 miles per hour there's no room for air i definitely want to keep my legs you know if something happens so i'm gonna stand in the back of the truck in case the car loses traction or slides off course so uh we'll put the uh, gps in it and see what's up also i put a cone out in the field at 100 feet luckily they cut this grass out here so it'll be a lot easier to uh, uh tread through it but i've got a cone set at 100 feet um, i'm not doing a distance jump uh, that's gonna be another video another ramp uh, again, I'm going for height, but I just I've had a lot of guys ask me how far it goes on these jumps So I just I'm gonna measure from there. So all right, let's see what's up. All right, we're gonna go in flying mode mile an hour start Of course, we're gonna see how fast we hit the ramp too All right, let's get up here and see what she'll do It's like a speed run send Looks like the wing came off. Woo, that was close. Got her straightened out just in time. She was upside down. All right, stop. Read. Got 82 feet again. That was my PB from last time. This time it was 78 miles an hour. You guys can see that, I'm not sure. 82 feet high, not distance high, at a 78 mile an hour. So we'll see if we can get her going a little bit quicker. Oh, there goes the body. Woo, the body ejected. <laughs> oh man. All right, stop, read. All right, guys, there's a PB, 89 feet. 89 feet high at 83 miles an hour. <laughs> Definitely happy with that. You guys can see that. 89 feet, maximum height, maximum speed, 83 miles an hour. So I did pick up a mile an hour from, uh, from my last uh, video, or it might've been the same at 83, I can't remember, 82 or 83. But 89 feet, pretty happy with that. All right, just brought her in. I can't find the body. I'm gonna have to look at the uh, footage to uh, try to locate where the body fell to. That's it's a big field out there, so I'll get that in a second. But I'm just gonna jump in convertible style, see how she does. But even after that jump, she's still together. I'm ready for another one. It's M2C tough. Everything on here is M2C uh, beefcake, so she's ready to go again. Stop, read. All right, 85 feet, 84 miles an hour. At least we did pick up a little extra speed. Woo, she always wants to break dance when she lands. Might have to measure the uh, distance on this one. It's pretty good past the 100 mark. Still going. Looks like I blew a shock right end on that one. <laughs> All right, let's see. Stop. Read. 89 feet again. Looks like that's where we're gonna be at today. 89 feet high, 83 miles an hour. So I got the speed. Uh, my goal was to hit 90 mile an hour, but I'm gonna have to do some more setup on the car. All right, let's measure this off real quick. Again, that's the 100 mark cone. 
All right, 125. One fifty. All right, about one seventy three. That's not too bad. Um, going for a height jump. Gosh, she lost power, started acting up, couldn't get her corrected. Oh, that looked like a rear end smack too. I took the wing off of it, see if it would cut down on the drag. Oh, that sounded brutal. Well, that was a record. <laughs> All right, guys, 95 feet high at 90 miles per hour. That just sucks. I, I, it started glitching in midair, couldn't get it corrected, and she landed uh, all wonky. Looks like we got a chopper up there that's coming after us. I guess we're uh, getting getting into the airspace. <laughs> all right, guys, got her back in to take a look. Uh, what happened is it uh, sheared off the bolt to the rear chassis brace. The uh, rear of the chassis buckled and, of course, bent the uh, rear drive shaft right there. That's a stock one. But everything else on the truck looks all right. So that again, that was a nasty smack to the back, but the M2C tower is still holding strong. Um, again, I took that wing off to uh, to cut that on drag and hopefully get a little more height and speed. It worked, but we got a little carnage out of it. Um, not sure why the motor cut out. She just started kind of acting uh, glitchy and stuff in the air, and then I couldn't get her corrected after that because these, these tires right here, these hoons, are not uh, exactly the easiest to uh, <laughs> control in the air since you don't have any kind of wheel spin or tire ballooning. I did lock the center diff. I'm running a lock center diff right here. I basically epoxied the gears together so she's locked. And then a standard bash set up in the front with a 50K and a 30K in the back. But all right, guys, it was a lot of fun. She's uh, still in one piece. After all that, again, it's a huge shout out to M2C Racing. Again, you know, we got a little bit of a little bit of a bendage here, but that's that's what happens when you're uh, playing these kind of games and uh, and I'm getting that hard with it. So, all right, guys, until next time, RC Dude 81. Peace out.